Hello my dear friends I have been talking to my friends my students and my colleagues and sometimes it has taken me 6 8 months or even 1 year uh, to convince them that they should start using magnification maybe in just a form of uh, loops uh, many of them do buy it but then uh, they get stuck in this phase of getting used to it and they simply give it up I also was in a similar situation and after getting used to uh, use of loops I feel I can share some uh, very simple tips for you which you can incorporate in your practice so that you can get used to it uh, the first and foremost uh, important thing is uh, use loop for very simple cases like you can start with caries excavation specifically for mandibular tooth because using loop for maxillary tooth becomes very difficult and we all have that habit of bending and you know looking in the mirror or <laughs> looking directly in the tooth so that is not possible with uh, when you have to so start with simple cases like class 1 caries excavation uh, in a mandibular first molar so that's a very important tip second is uh, you should also Uh, use loop when you have a very calm patient who doesn't object uh, you know you using something new and uh, that's because see many times what happens is there are some patients who want treatment very fast and suppose you are using loop and in initial days and uh, if they come to know that you are trying something new and you are struggling with it they may not be very cooperative but there are some patients who are very good they don't mind uh, you know you spending some extra time uh, and uh, such patients if you start uh, doing uh, treatment by using loop then it becomes very easy rather than uh, you know using it in patients who are in too much hurry third is uh, whenever you are doing uh, you know a treatment initial days with loop always uh, give more time like for example let us assume if you have a conventional treatment time for any caries excavation which takes around uh, um, maybe half an hour you should keep one hour for uh, such patients initially uh, when you are planning to start with using magnification loops now why this is important because uh, in magnification everything is very difficult initially you can end up uh, uh you know damaging the lips uh you can also you have to take care that you don't uh, uh you know eyes face eyes of the patient you can uh, puncture the uh, uh cheek and all because the field of view is very small and uh, you feel it very difficult to get this orientation when you have loops for the first time so i think these are the three important uh, very important things which you can incorporate i will keep sharing few more so that uh, it helps you to shift to magnification as soon as possible bye for now